everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is my May TBR. I'm excited because the owls just finished and it's a time to start and continue with that momentum um, for me and hopefully it will continue. I haven't picked that many books because I don't want to push myself after having such um, a big reading month in April with the owls, so I've only picked a few. But we'll see what um, I come up with throughout May, and maybe I'll add some other books in there as well. First book that I'd like to read is Warrior of the Wild by uh, Tricia Levenseller. This is about an 18 year old girl named, what's her name here? Rosmira. And she's been training her whole life to become a warrior. And the day that her trial is supposed to take place, it's sabotaged and she doesn't pass. And so her father banishes her and she needs to fight back and get back into um, being able to become a warrior for her kingdom. Sounds good. And I love Trisha Levenseller's other books, uh, The Daughter of the Pirate King and The Daughter of the Siren Queen are um, some of my favorite books. Then I'm also planning on picking up Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. As you know from my April haul, I just picked this one up, um, but I've had um, the third book on my shelf for quite a while and that's why I want to hurry up and get on to this. All I know is it's a story about the Queen of Hearts and I don't want to know anything else about it um, because I don't want to get spoiled and I don't want to um, regret my decision to read this book. The next one I'm going to pick up is The Home for Unwanted Girls by Joanna Goodman. Um, as well in my April haul. My sister gave this one to me um, because as soon as she finishes a book she gives it to someone else so I need to read it to continue that um, process. So when I'm finished it I need to hand it off to someone else to enjoy. Um, and this is about a girl who ends up getting pregnant in 1950s uh, Quebec and her parents make her give up the baby and the baby is sent off to um, an orphanage which is actually a um, psychiatric hospital sorry didn't remember the words um, and so once the baby becomes 17 they are thrown out into the world and it is this girl's journey about how she grew up in a psychiatric hospital and so she's flung out into the world not knowing uh, how to cope with it. I can't wait to read that one. I heard it's very good. And then I also have downloaded the audiobook of The Tattooist of Auschwitz. What? Oh, Auschwitz? Why am I having trouble with that word? The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I don't know. The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why I have trouble. It. I say it in my head and it's perfectly fine. I say it out loud and it just, I destroy it. Um, but I have the audiobook from the library and um, I know it's a historical fiction and I know what it what it seems to be about because of the title but I don't want to know anything else and I will listen to that as soon as my owls are done. And the last book that I'm physically planning on reading is Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Trout? Armentrout? Um, this is an advanced arc that I won for, through Goodreads and it is coming out on June 11th so I have to hurry up and finish this massive book um, and let everybody know on Goodreads what it's all about. Um, yes, now I put 
the whole synopsis on my Instagram uh, a little while ago. And this is about um, a girl that has a power, a magical power she's not supposed to have. And um, if people knew what she had and what she's capable of, her life would be in danger. And um, so there's people that are um, protecting her. I think it's wardens are protecting her, but then she's got to be careful of the demons because they'll kill her. But um, yeah, it's been a while since I've read the back of this book, but it sounds interesting. It sounds intriguing. And I need to hurry because it's long. How long is this book? Oh boy. 535 pages before June 11th. Way before June 11th. Anyway, those are the books that I plan on reading in May. Um, if you have any other suggestions on books that maybe I should pick up in the month of May, please comment below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from me, press the subscribe button, and I'll see you the next time. Bye.